As much as I would love to show you guys this beautiful bus, today we're going to be looking at a 2019 Tiffin Allegro Red. And it's kind of interesting because just yesterday I was up in North Phoenix working on a uh, viewer's 2022 Tiffin Allegro Red. Now I just finished up the inspection and I'm kind of excited to share it with you guys. And I know a lot of people are looking for a short diesel pusher and this is only 33 feet long. Uh, traditionally, I do take you up on the roof first and we do a roof inspection together, but I have been reading the comments and I hear what you're saying. Let's take a look inside first and then we'll go on the roof. I can, I can, I can accommodate. I, I understand. I can take criticism. Before we do go in on the inside, I do want to take it on a few points on the outside. Now this is a Allegro Red. It does have the 340 Cummins turbo diesel on it. And I think underneath this also has a Allison 2500 transmission. So not your standard 3000 transmission. But this is more of a entry level or entry trim level uh, diesel pusher. So it's not an uncommon thing to find. I don't think you're gonna miss uh, the power in the transmission or the engine because it is such a short diesel. And they did pack an awful lot into this, including my first uh, look at the Vroom slide system for the uh, Schwintec slide. So this slide has been completely upgraded with the uh, heavy duty uh, Vroom slide system that was developed down here in Tucson, Arizona. That's why this molding right there is brand new. And my understanding is talking to the uh, previous owner, Tiffin installed this, which I think is kind of uh, brilliant. Um, gives me kind of hope that maybe uh, the industry might be switching over to a much more durable Schwentech slide system, the Vroom system. But the upgrades don't stop there. But if we look underneath right there, he did add a Safety Plus steering stabilizer. And, and over here you can see the shocks have also been upgraded to Kony. Uh, the tires I did check, they are from the 11th week of 2018. Another thing that kind of surprised me about this short diesel is that it's not built on a Freightliner chassis. This is a Tiffin Power Glide chassis. Normally you don't see that on a short diesel. I had my suspicions when I looked at the uh, VIN number and it started with a 5 instead of a 4. But then when I look over here, look at that, Power Glide chassis. You're going to see the uh, engine information right there too if you want. Now the last thing on the outside I want to tell you about is that this does not have leveling jacks on it. If you look underneath, there's no jacks. Tiffin is just using the air suspension as a leveling system. And that's a feature you only normally find on luxury buses like a Prevo, a Beaver Motorhome, a King Air, or a beautiful Newell. But I think that's about everything on the outside I wanted to show you guys. I left the awnings out so you can see that they are in good condition. You know, we're picking up a little bit of wind, so I'm going to put the awning away. Still can't get over that room slide. So much stronger and more impressive. If you look at the tracks right there, how wide this is. The fully formed uh, cogs of this rack. And the roller underneath actually can support some weight. Whereas the uh, posing two slide out rooms still have the Schwintec drive system on it, so you can see its rack is just a machined aluminum with just a V roller that's not supposed to support any weight whatsoever. But they did add all the roller skids or skis, you might call them, to prevent damage to the uh, slide out room. And of course, the Schwintec slide is much better on a smaller slide out. This uh, larger one that has a galley built into it also. So yes, there are three slide out rooms on this Tiffin Allegro Red. Now, one of the first indicators that it's a more of a lower trim item is that it's gonna be uh, vinyl plank flooring in here, which I find to be a little bit more durable and softer on your feet. And of course, uh, easier to repair if you need to. But that is a, the biggest giveaway that's a little bit lower trim entry level RV. However, they still did, like I said, pack a lot of features into this, including uh, all the cabinet doors are real solid wood and this is going to be again because of when it was made there wasn't a shortage of lumber at the time so this is a much nicer wood than you're going to find even on a 2022 tiffin red but the cabinet faces are not real solid wood and you can see a little bit of peeling on that uh, vinyl wrap not an uncommon thing to find on engineered lumber like that now some of you might remember a few years ago i did rebuild a Nearly total loss, Tiffin Allegro Red. I think it was a 2019, but this is a different floor plan. This is a uh, 33AL, or 33AL. 
But if you did see that series of me rebuilding that Tiffin Allegro Red, this dash should look very familiar to you. Including this wrap around down there, this control here. Now this does have the Tiffin insignia on the steering wheel, indicating it is a power glide chassis, not Freightliner. And if we go ahead and start it up. So the mileage we do have at 27,437. Likely it'll be about 2,000 more than that by the time it gets over to Kentucky and Doug Sewell with Sewell Motor Coach. It does have a Kenwood in-dash navigation with uh, Bluetooth connectivity on it and the triple vision backup camera with side view cameras on it too. So really nice features you have on that. You should have seen on that Tiffin Red that I rebuilt. You even still have the engine braking right there. Over here is going to be the touch screen for the leveling system. Now this is a, a smart... Uh, Air leveling, so you can actually increase the ride height with electronic uh, ride height control valves. So that's the driver's compartment. This does not have a flip down uh, step well cover. It just has a carpeted cover right here. It just manually gets it put in place. So that one can't really ever break or get stuck. So I do like that feature on it. You'll see it does have the hardwired uh, slide out switches on both the driver's and passenger seats. The last cool feature to see in the driver's area is going to be right above my head right there. That is a bunk. And this is a manual bunk. You just have to uh, lift up, undo the latch right there, do the same thing over here. And now I'm just doing this one handed, but you can see uh, one handed it can even be done. And that's just going to flip down the rest of the way with a brand new mattress on top of it. So it's pretty interesting. They got a manual bunk house inside a 33 foot long diesel pusher but with the uh gas struts right there it does prevent you from crushing anybody's head and uh, like i said one hand operation was not difficult now as we head further back into the living room area right here do remember i did take a 2019 tiffin allegro bus across the country and i found this sofa to be incredibly comfortable it's difficult to see on video here but this is a a longer length sofa than you find on most RVs. So a six foot tall person can lay down fairly comfortably with your head on the armrest here. My feet aren't on the couch, don't worry. And I can stretch all the way out and watch TV comfortably with a beautiful fireplace down below. It's my favorite source of heat in an RV. But this is also a very large guest bed. It's a hide -a bed with a frustrating latch that I would get rid of right here. That'll just extend out right here. And while it is a queen size bed, and yeah, it is brand new, and yes, it does have the air mattress on top right there with the air pump located conveniently there. This becomes a very comfortable guest bed that you do not have to have any remorse or sympathy for family members or friends that have to sleep in it. It's a good location too. Because of its location on a non-level out slide out floor, so it does have a step up right there, you can't really use that recliner unless you pull it off and put it on the floor down right there. But what that does mean is that if you didn't want that recliner right there, you could remove that completely. You could put a, uh, a workstation right, in right here if you need to work remotely or work from home or you have uh, hobbies that you want to work at. I think it's a good uh, found spot. And of course, it's even more surprising that you have found space for something like that in a 33 foot long coach. And don't forget this driver's seat does turn around and then it becomes a pretty good TV viewing location also with its own armrest and it does recline back. So you kind of don't even really need that recliner. Now across from that slide out will be the second slide out. This has a booth on it. I'm not a huge fan of booths, but it does have storage drawer underneath right there. Lift up that handle, push this down and you have a second bed in the front area right here. This is just a twin size bed. You will have to relocate the cushions on top. And this is not a solid surface countertop. This is a lower trim level, so it is more of a laminate pressed wood tabletop. Now, even though this is a laminate countertop here, Tiffin did give you solid surface Corian on the galley countertop itself. A one piece under countertop mounted stainless steel and thick sink. I do like the faucet they chose. The backsplash is the same matching countertop material and it is backlit with an indirect uh, LED light strip there. And you know that I love that it's just a manual roller shade right there. And it does have manual day 
and night roller shades throughout the rest of the RV. This does have a propane. This is a propane unit, but it does have the three burner RV stove top located to here. Very easy to operate. Front burner is a high output burner, but above it does have a convection oven microwave from Sharp Carousel. Runs on 110 power only. That's why you don't have a propane oven down below. One of the bigger problems I've maybe found on this coach so far is that the original latches for the refrigerator from Tiffin don't seem to be operating right now. In fact, this one seems to be gone. But it is a residential. But the freezer section right here is not a pull-out drawer. It has individual drawers themselves with an ice maker. And I kind of do like that more than the drawer. And this thing's quiet as can be. And it's nice and cold in here. Directly behind that will be the pantry area. It only has one pull-out section with adjustable shelving. And this is solid wood here. Even this construction on the pull-out was solid wood. Now across from there will be the hallway with more pantry storage with adjustable shelving and a one-touch uh, control for the entire coach. Give you uh, your monitor panel, your light control, vent control, and this is where you control your uh, bedroom slide outs. Now before we go past that sliding pocket door, we're going to go through this solid wood hinge door to the bathroom. Now do try to remember this is only 33 feet long. There's only one bathroom in this motorhome. But I think they did a pretty good job of giving you a lot of bathroom space and it's not a split bathroom. So you don't have a shower on one side and the toilet on the other side. All in one area, completely separate from the bedroom. You have uh, that same pressed wood laminate countertop in here with a plastic vanity sink. It does have solid wood mirrored medicine cabinets above. My favorite uh, non-privacy uh, window right above the uh, porcelain gravity toilet. And while I do like this shower, with its dual sliding tempered shower doors here and a one piece seamless fiberglass shower surround with built in bench seat. You guys remember from uh, my trip, my big critique was that the uh, shower faucet was right there on the seat. So you can't really sit back without hitting your uh, shower into your back. It's a little uncomfortable. Now, of course, I am six foot tall. I do like to do this for everybody. So if I just step up, and this is a pretty st stout step up right there. That's at least 10 inches, I would guess. Uh, I did not have to duck, but if I do step out, yeah, I'll have to make sure I don't hit my head on that. So heading back out the bathroom through this solid wood sliding pocket door here, we will make our way to the bedroom. Now there is only one slide out back here. There's not an opposing slide out on the passenger side here, which is a feature I kind of do like. This is a king size bed that's only a little bit modified with a little bit of that corner missing in order to make its way through that cabinet right there. Now there is storage underneath the mattress there. It has a vinyl headboard with LED lights for reading lights there. And both sides do have windows for both airflow and viewing. Now I would say most importantly across from the bed is going to be the bedroom TV. It does have uh, that same laminate countertop for both the uh, dressing area and dresser drawers here. But they are very large drawers and it is a cabinet grade plywood used as the box. They even gave you a hamper because hidden behind these two doors will be the washer and dryer combination unit. I like to tell people they're a good washer yeah, a little bit of a crummy dryer. As long as your expectations are managed, it should be more than enough to meet your uh, needs. Just to the right of the laundry center, it does have a pretty decent sized closet past these sliding mirrored closet doors. Has a metal closet rack and even managed to give some shelving inside the closet for you here too. Then we talk about extra features that I didn't even cover. It does have USB built into the nightstands on both sides of the bed, even at the dinette area over there. Maybe the biggest limitation in this floor plan on this short diesel is going to be the engine cover. It is a substantial step up and it got a little bit of a trip hazard if you aren't aware of it. And of course, most uh, diesel motor homes on floor plans hide uh, the engine cover inside the closet right there. So it's better to have living space than closet space on a short diesel. That was my quick walkthrough on this 2019 Tiffin Allegro Red uh, short diesel. 
the last thing we have to do is take a look at the roof because I did promise that. This does have a factory access ladder on the back of it. And the uh, Tiffin does have a gel coat fiberglass roof. I did already do the inspection and I didn't find anything wrong from uh, the side molding or the roof ACs being loose. The only thing I would say was a little bit questionable is that the owner did paint their skylight to uh, darken it out. That could be removed if you wanted to. The slide out toppers aren't frayed or falling apart. They're not loose. The previous owner added vent covers to both the uh, fantastic vents and it does have the wine guard connect for both Wi-Fi and cell phone boost. But probably the most impressive feature up here is gonna be the solar. The uh, previous owner went ahead and added, it looks to be at least, so 450 watts of solar would be my best guess right here without being able to take a look underneath. And this does have an inverter to power that residential refrigerator, the TVs, and the 110 receptacles inside also, including the microwave. So that's a pretty nice upgrade to already have done. House batteries are only a year old, so they were replaced February 2023. And I think the only real deficiency I saw up here was that there was some sunburn going on on the radius here. And it's just along this driver's side of roof radius here. But that was a 2019 Tiffin Allegro Red 33 AL floor plan. It's a short diesel with a 340 horsepower Cummins turbo diesel on it. I was impressed by the amount of features and its condition that you're going to have on this short diesel. And I look forward to seeing Doug Sewell's review on it on his YouTube channel when it gets to Sewell Motor Coach there in Harrisburg, Kentucky. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye. But because I know you guys want to hear it, this is the Schwintec slide on this side. with the upgraded Vroom slide system over here. That's a lot smoother, a lot quieter on a much bigger slide out. And really the only reason why I knew it was there was because when the slide out room was closed, it looked like somebody had been uh, playing with the molding on that slide out room. And they had, they upgraded the slide out room mechanism to a room. And it doesn't even look bad.